How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today our quote is by Swami Vivekananda. So the quote is, We are what our thoughts have made us, so take care what you think. Words are secondary. Thoughts live, they travel far. So if you have visited my channel before, you know that I'm always preaching. <laughs> I'm always encouraging that you learn to observe your thought process. So we need to learn to cultivate the observer side of us to constantly be a witness and observer to our internal world. So we are always noticing what we are thinking. And if we can see it clearly, if we can notice our thoughts clearly, then just remember this. If you can see it, you don't have to be it. So if you can notice your thoughts and you notice that they are not productive thoughts, then by seeing that clearly, you don't need to be it. So you simply disidentify yourself from these thoughts and soon enough they will leave your inner space. But if you give them attention, attention gives them life. Where attention goes, energy flows. So we need to learn to just be a passive yet alert witness in our inner space and just notice our thinking all the time. Notice our feelings. And just that key insight that if you can see it, you don't need to be it. So if you can see your thoughts clearly and you see they are not good, and just do not judge or condemn what you see. You are just mainly learning to gain self-knowledge. But then by seeing something clearly, then you can steer and go in a different direction if you see that it's not conducive to your present moment and by learning to disidentify from your thoughts then you will start to be more in the present you will start to be incorporating more of your intelligence because one thing you'll realize that when you start observing and noticing all your thoughts and the better you get at doing that all the time moment to moment you will see that most of our thoughts are just recycled from the past most of our thoughts are not new they are old thoughts so essentially we are operating through the past and the present so if you can notice what you're thinking moment to moment you can decide and not become identified to these thoughts not given power and then you will be acting from a more intelligent place in the moment you will then be acting more from presence and that's where we want to be at thoughts aren't bad in and of themselves but it is our attention that gives them life if you become identified to them so if you become identified and don't even shine any awareness on your thoughts then you will be being led by the past as i mentioned most of our, th our most of our thoughts are just the past being repeated so as the quote says yeah uh, thoughts do have a lot of power if you give them that power if you give them that power they will be living your life and most people think negatively most people have negative thoughts so most people lead negative lives but you don't need to be most people if you can learn to just notice and observe and this is where med meditation and other spiritual practices come in handy. So I suggest you check out some of my playlists. I have a lot of videos there, a lot of er a lot of exercises that you can practice that can help you to start to notice and be aware in the moment what you're thinking, as I'm doing right now. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Take care.